Finally, we came to the realization that our alternatives were limited. Belinda and I did what we had to do. We quit complaining. We stopped fighting each other. Belinda started paddling again, and I just paddled opposite her. Every time she changed sides, I changed sides. We improved enough to steer in the general direction, and eventually we began to catch up with the others. Now, we wouldn't win a prize for our tactics, but with two strong wills, we found a way to make it work. I must admit I was pretty proud when we caught that last wave and coasted into the beach. The guy grabbed the front of our kayak to steady it so we could get out. And then he peered at us with an astonished look on his face and exclaimed, in all my years, I've never seen that before. You traveled the whole trip going backwards. How did you do that? No wonder it was so hard. I mean, evidently, we were supposed to get in the kayak facing the shore. We didn't realize that. Ideally, when you push off backwards, the first thing you do is turn toward the waves. Well, we got into the kayak and just launched into the ocean. I guess we should have listened to our guide more closely. Suddenly, the struggle for the last hour and one half made a lot more sense. The entire boat is engineered to work facing the other way. Have you, have you ever experienced the feeling that life seems harder than it should be? I mean, maybe you miss the details or someone else in your world isn't cooperating. It isn't unusual that what appears to be a rather simple and fun exercise turned in, turns into an unexpected ordeal. What if you are functioning backwards? What if you think you're supposed to be leading in life and in reality, you were designed to follow? It's normal to live your life believing you were born to be in control. After all, isn't life all about you? It is about having what you want and the freedom to do as you please. That's what brings happiness, right? The problem is it doesn't work so well in everyday life. Before long, you find yourself arguing and complaining and competing with others who believe the same thing, that it's all about them. And after you've tried harder and threatened to quit, you eventually come to the place where you're dead in the water. Now, I'm not the fastest or brightest student in life or in kayaking, but I've come to an astonishing discovery. I'm made for more, and you are too. There's a better way. Life is better when you turn around and go the direction the guide advises. You slice through the water, steering's easier, your efforts are more productive, you get along better with others, and you can enjoy the journey. In the book Backwards, we discover the benefit of making and living life, not about selfish purposes, but life as God designed it. It's a life that's filled with on-purpose living. This brings great adventure and amazing satisfaction. Let's listen to the guide and let's get started.